take you through a quick high level summary. As Ben mentioned, um, there's tons of detail in Arlo. It's a really big platform, uh, but we'll do it from a high level today in the interest of time. And if you would like a more in-depth, detailed demo based on your specific business requirements, then do let us know and myself or our team members uh, will be happy to set that up. Broadly speaking, there are two different sides to Arlo. You have your customer facing aspects around promoting the courses on the website and taking registrations and payments for the courses maybe. And then Arlo from your perspective as an administrator. So that main platform that you'll be using to do all of the scheduling, course management and day-to-day -day work in the system. And we'll go through both aspects today. I'll start with a quick look through the front end. So this would be from your customer's perspective, from your learner's perspective maybe. And I've pulled up an example of one of our customers' websites here. Now, this website was already up and running when they came to Arlo, and Arlo's just been plugged into it, essentially. So if I navigate to their classes over here, all of these pieces of information here related to the classes they run are actually being pulled through from their Arlo platform. Now, the goal is always that you'd never really know that it's coming through from a separate platform. You can see how it's been nice and seamlessly styled to blend in with the look and feel of their existing website. But up here, these are all different categories, of course, which we could filter by. Um, we have some timeframes which we could filter by over there as well. And down here, we have some different course titles, dates, and summaries as well. Uh, a lot of customers like to present their courses in just a list format in date order, but there's lots of options. You can promote your courses in calendar style layouts, catalogs that break the courses down by category, and lots of different options. So you have complete control over how this is appearing on the website. Now let's click on a course that we're particularly interested in. And this takes us to the landing page for that course. And each type of course that you create in Arlo will automatically have its own landing page on the website. And this is where you can give all of the information about your courses. So some sort of course description. These subheadings and sections could be anything you like. A lot of customers like to give a section on maybe prerequisites for the course, uh, learning outcomes, or maybe reviews, what previous participants have said. And you can also put images and make it look nice for your customers to see as well. Now, just before we move on and actually sign up for a course, I'm also just going to quickly mention that we have another option for the website as well. And that's that we have this built-in Arlo website. Now, this comes included in the subscription at no extra charge. And it's connected to your platform out of the box. So that means that you don't, don't need to do any separate integration work. You don't need a developer to do any coding. It's been designed so it's nice and easy for pretty much anybody to get this off the ground and running um, and do the styling and the customization to make it look like your own website. Now, there is less flexibility with this option compared to using your own website that you've built from scratch because you can't get in here and do custom coding. But it's a nice, simple way of getting up and running with Arlo if uh, customization is less of a priority and you just want to have somewhere where you can promote your courses nice and easy. Again, the idea is the same as you schedule the courses in the website. They go they go onto the website automatically from the back end of the platform. And you can also do your different layouts, your catalogs, your calendars and so on. Now, for those of you running private courses, I saw some of those in the poll. Um, obviously, we've been looking at public course dates here. You can also schedule private courses in Arlo. And instead of being publicly visible on the website, they'll only be visible through a private link, which you can share with that particular customer. And they can use that private link to view the course information and also sign up the learners that are going to be taking the course as well. Now, we also have an in-house web team that can help with website integration. We also make the resources available for you. So a developer on your end could do the website integration themselves. Uh, but we've definitely got a team that can help you every step of the way if that's what you prefer. So I'm going to click register on this course now. And let's pretend we want to sign up for one of these uh, courses here. And this takes us through to the Arlo checkout. Now we've actually moved away from the customer's website to an Arlo hosted checkout at this point. But you can see how this has also been customized and styled to really match their branding and give the appearance that we're still on their actual website completely. Header and footer has been customized completely here. First step is we're being given the option to create an account uh, with this customer. If we do so, that would then give us a login and we could log into an Arlo customer portal and see all of the courses that we've signed up to, both upcoming ones and ones we've completed in the past and manage our own registrations from there. 
But this customer is also allowing us to proceed as a guest. So we can just do that for now. That takes us through to the registration form for the course, where we enter all of the details of the person or the people that are going to be signing up. The only fields that you must have here are name and email address. The rest is completely up to you. There are lots of pre-built fields in Arlo you can use, and you can also create your own custom fields and add those to the forms as well. And all of that information you capture from people signing up will then be stored against their names in the back end of the Arlo platform that we'll look at a bit later on. You can also see that one person can register multiple people at one time if needs be. Uh, they could also add multiple courses to the basket as well. Uh, so it could be one person booking on a group of people for multiple courses and putting it all through on the same payment or the same order. So great for those group bookings. And if it is a paid course, we'll proceed to checkout and that's where we enter all of the billing information. So we'll enter billing address, uh, who's actually paying for the course, choose the payment method. Arlo can take card payments online if that's something you want to do, but you might also offer options for things like invoice, wire transfer and things like that. And when they go through that process, Arlo then kicks in all of that automation for you. So it automatically sends out the receipt or the invoice to the order contact, and it will automatically send the course instructions to the learners that have been signed up to attend the course as well. And that will be complete with venue details, Zoom links, course instructions, whatever you need to say, and also calendar appointments will be attached automatically as well. So the idea is at that point of sign up, lots of pieces of automation are kicking in uh, where otherwise you might be doing a lot of manual processes for each registration. Now I'm going to switch into the back end of the Arlo platform now, and we'll talk through this from your perspective as an administrator. So this is the first thing we see when we log in. And if you've used Arlo before, maybe you're a customer or you've started a trial before, you might notice this is looking a little bit different to usual. This is actually a first look at a new UI, which we're rolling out in the coming weeks. We've updated it a little bit, made it a bit more modern, made it a bit more aligned with our branding. So this is an exciting new feature we're rolling out to our customers in the coming weeks. So the first thing we see when we log in is a dashboard, and this is giving us a summary of how the business is doing, really. So over here, we can see the most immediate upcoming courses that we have scheduled in the platform. And we can see what's going on this week and next week, etc. And we can also see at a glance how these courses are doing in terms of capacity as well. So which ones are full up, which ones have places remaining and so on. We can also see some metrics at a glance, such as the registration numbers over recent months, um, orders, maybe we want to track how the revenue has been doing recently as well. Leads would be inquiries that have been coming into the business too. And over here we have the tasks as well. I'll talk about this in a bit more detail in a moment, but this is really a to-do list for all of those pre and post course logistics that you might need to check off as you go along. So first of all, I'm just going to click on a particular course that we already have scheduled in the platform. And this is where we can see all of the information about this course. On the left, we have some general details around when and where the course is taking place, um, pricing and things like that. And on the right, in these tabs, we have different pieces of information as well. So the registrations tab shows me all of the people that have signed up to the course so far. I can see all of their details here. The waiting list shows me if there is a wait list for the course, if the course has been fully subscribed and Arlo can automatically manage that for you too. Leads again is inquiries that have been coming in and you can manage those by clicking on them. Notes and tasks are here. These can be added at the top with these buttons. And the nice thing about the tasks is you can actually group them into what we call a task set and have it so that a whole set of tasks is applied automatically when you schedule a new course. And each task within the set could have a different due date based on when the course is running and even be assigned to different administrators as well. So automatically everybody's to-do list for the course is being generated for you. And on the right here, we have this communication tab. This is a track record of all of the automated emails which Arlo has sent on your behalf for this particular course. So you can always go into these and see what Arlo has sent. The look and feel and the branding of these is customizable in your settings. And you can see all of the information that's been sent out here. I'll just draw your attention to a couple of other buttons at the top here as well. This registration button is how we can sign people up ourselves onto a course if they haven't gone through the form. You can register individuals one by one 
or especially useful if you're running a private course, you can import registrations in bulk. Maybe your customers sent you a list of names in advance. And this email button up here is a shortcut to getting in touch with everybody associated with the course on an ad hoc basis, and it will automatically populate everybody's name in BCC for you. So now I'm going to move on and talk about the scheduling piece, which is really the core part of the Arlo system. And the really nice thing about Arlo is that when you create a course for the first time, it will create a template for that type of course for you. And that means that if you want to run the course again in the future on a new date or maybe for a new customer, if it's a private course, you can click schedule another here and choose the new date that you want to run the course on. And then Arlo is going to copy across loads of information from the template so you're not repeating yourself and redoing it manually each time you run the course. So things like the name of the course gets copied over, uh, the price of the course here as well. All the information that goes on the website, this is what we looked at earlier on from the customer's perspective on the website. So we just need to change anything that's different about this particular course that we're running. Um, maybe if it's an in-person course, we need to change the venue. And we have a helpful venue and room scheduler here where you can book out different locations and see which ones are available. And we have a similar feature for your instructors or facilitators. We call them presenters in Arlo. So again, you can see who's already booked up for courses and who might be available to take this one that we're looking at. Uh, clicking through the stages. Now, this next step is all around how you want to take registrations, uh, your policies and rules and capacity. There's lots of things we can talk about here, but I'll save it for another conversation. Uh, again, this is quite a high level demo and some of these features can get quite in depth. But the main thing is you've got a lot of flexibility around how you want to take signups for the course. And the final stage is setting up the automated emails that Arlo is going to send for this particular course. So you can uh, change the content of some of these emails and decide when certain emails will be sent out. The settings for those will be saved in the template as well. So again, you're not redoing that each time. And these are things like your confirmation emails, your reminders, post-course follow-ups, certificates, and things like that. All of those Arlo can automate and a lot more as well. So as soon as we hit create and approve up here, that schedules the course in the platform, puts it on the website, assuming it's a public course ready for people to sign up to. And as people do sign up, they come through here, they get their automated emails, we can see all of their information in the system, and Arlo's doing all of that work in the background for us. So that was the main bulk of the system there, but there's a few other aspects of the system that I'm going to touch on briefly in the minutes that we have left. I've navigated to the contacts tab at the top here, and this is how we get to the CRM or database component of the platform. Um, it's split into two. You have individual contacts, so your learners primarily, and also the organizations that you might work with on a business to business basis. If we go into an individual's contact record, we can see their complete history with us here. So we can see all of their details, all the information they've given us in those forms. And we can also see their course history, what they've done and when, a history of their inquiries and payment history and things like that. And it's very similar when we go into a company's record as well. Um, we can see all of the company details. We can see all of the people that work for this company and their information here. We can see a history of the private courses we've run for the company in the past as well. And again, things like payment history too. And you'll notice how the UI is really similar, whatever we're looking at in the system. We can put notes and tasks against any object, really. It doesn't matter if it's a course, a person, or a company. We can do all those same sorts of things. We also have an orders section. So this is where we can keep a track of all of those orders and payments that have been coming in through the website. And we can also create them manually in the system if we need to. And it's super easy for us to filter this list of orders to just see people who we're still awaiting payment from or maybe who is late in paying us so we know where we need to focus our attention. We can also go into specific orders if we need to issue refunds or credit notes and do that individual order management if we needed to as well. Under the marketing tab at the top here, we have a lead section and this is where we can manage those inquiries that are coming in. Uh, very similar to the registration forms, you can customize those and ask whatever questions and enter whatever fields you need to. And you can then go into an inquiry, new ones are in bold like this, and you can see who it is, which company they belong to, and what are they asking about. And we can then respond by email, move them through sales stages if we needed to, 
um, create tasks to follow up and all of those things that you'd expect. And the last thing I'll touch on quickly in the couple of minutes we have left is we also have a really powerful and comprehensive reporting engine built into Arlo. So you can see here, you can report on all sorts of things in the platform. It could be the courses you run, your facilitators and how busy they are, uh, the signups or the payments that you're taking. And when you go in to run a report, you can also see here that you've got the flexibility to customize it heavily. So you can add as many conditions or criteria to the reports as you like to filter your data. You can also add as many fields as you like in the results of the report here as well. You can then preview the results in Arlo like this and export them out into Excel if you wanted to do further analysis. And if you've built up a heavily customized report, you could even save it to favorites so you don't need to build it up from scratch each time. And you can then even schedule it to run automatically. So you can choose how frequently you want the report to run. Again, automatically. You can choose exactly when you want it to run. And who do you want the report to be sent to here as well? Uh, it could be sent to anybody. They don't even necessarily need to be users of the system. Some people like reports to be sent to their customers or their instructors. Um, so you've got a lot of flexibility there, absolutely. Okay, so that was a quick summary demo of Arlo in a nutshell, 10 or 15 minutes or so. Again, we didn't have time to cover everything in detail today, but do get in touch if you would like a more in-depth demo based on your specific requirements.